Hey everybody, it's Steve here. It's day one of the lockdown here in South Africa and I've just taken a seat in my garden. You can see our hedge behind us and our neighbor's house in the background there. And during this lockdown time, I'm gonna be posting a video on most of the days, just sharing a devotional thought um, to, I guess, guide our minds and our hearts during this time, including mine. This is an exceptionally unusual moment uh, in the world and in our lives to be under lockdown in home or at home with our families or as individuals. And it led me to think about the book of Philippians. Philippians was written by Paul, who was sitting in a Roman jail, also under lockdown. We are under just stay at home. He was in physical chains. And he writes this incredible book of four chapters. And so we're gonna be looking at some verses from uh, the book of Philippians during this devotional time. And I'd like to pick just two words from Paul's greeting today. When Paul writes the letter, he says to the Philippian church, he says, grace and peace be to you. Grace and peace, those are the words. What's really interesting is that all 13 of Paul's letters start exactly the same way, grace and peace. Another four books in the New Testament start the same way, grace and peace to you. Those are really strong words. Grace, somebody put like this, is God's riches at Christ's expense, G-R-A-C-E, God's riches at Christ's expense. Grace means I don't get what I deserve. Grace means I get far more than I deserve, that Christ died for me. Christ loves me. Christ has forgiven me. I have grace. I receive grace. So Paul says, grace be to you. And then he says, secondly, peace be to you. Grace and peace. This word peace is a really big word, especially when our world is without peace at the moment. The word peace is interesting because actually in Philippians, Paul in Philippians 4 says, may the peace of God guard your hearts and minds. And then later on in verse 9, he says, may the God of peace be with you. So it's the peace of God and the God of peace. Last week, there was a huge thunderstorm uh, here around our home. And a little girl woke up, it was around about 10 o'clock at night, and a little girl woke up crying. She was scared from the thunder and the lightning. And I picked her up on my lap, just sat with her on her bed, on her lap with my one, ear, or my one hand covering her ear so that she couldn't hear the thunder. And her crying immediately quietened down. And she was with her dad, but her dad's peace was now with her. And when we're with our father during any time of storm, during any little thunder and lightning, the God of peace picks us up onto his lap and then the peace of God comes into our life and guards our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. So my prayer for you today is that the God of peace would give you both grace and peace. God bless.